Hello, I'm Kevin. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I got a V12 high torque with the orange rim. Uh, so it's coming in for a service with a puncher. So we're going to be changing the tire today on the uh, V12 high torque. So let's have a look. It's on the bench. So here we are. So we've got the, uh, the high torque. Let's take a close look. So this one has got the, uh, the orange rim. And the tire is different on the high torque, so it's got a knobby and street tire. So this is a, uh, a dual terrain, uh, yeah, multi terrain. So basically, it's a roll and off road tire. So on roll, it's quite smooth and it's quite round, so you can curve with this. So that seems to be a nice tire by looking at it. Uh, so you got the orange rim, and uh, everything's the same. The pedal. With the four bolt which you can adjust uh, the shell is exactly the same um what we got here we got the uh the button is orange uh same display and uh yeah there's not much really to, uh well let's uh let's get started and open it up again lay it flat to start with and uh loosen this the uh, nuts there this uh, bolt that holds the pedal uh, uh, rod. So once it's uh, loosened, tap the rod out and the pedal out it come. Again, one, two, two screw. Pull the top off by putting a screwdriver in there uh, and this will pop out. So to demonstrate that, you put your screwdriver in here and there's a clip and off it come, you see there? So that clip comes off there. So right in the corner there, pop in there and off it come and you just push that back and off it come so that's the size so we've got one two three four screw and one two and four on the bottom one two three four and the shell will come off So once the shell is off, remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there should be ten screw. Okay, so this V12, it looks like uh, they uh, revert back to the uh, the first gen uh, V12. So the original first batch of V12 doesn't have the little circuit here. It's only have two plate. So it looks like this is a two plate. So they revert back to the old uh, first gen uh, configuration, which is without the uh, little stupid circuit that holding the cable down. So it's just a plate, which is good. Um, and again, you know, the V12, they, they always make this mistake by having the wire there. You see that it's that squeezes that pressed down on those high voltage cable, the battery cable, which is the same thing. Um, so this time the cable is running around the side here instead of going around in the center. Okay, so this is the V12, the way they've done it is running the wire down this side and pushing against there. So by looking at this, that looks exactly the same, except it hasn't got the top circuit. So let's remove the motor cable.
So once you disconnect the motor cable on both ends, on both sides, you remove the six bolt which is uh, holding the pedal hanger, okay? And then you just slide it out once it's loosened. I put the motor, clamp the motor down and then just lift the shelf off uh, with the battery, everything in one piece. So also don't forget to mark it. So this is the right hand side and this is the right hand side. So put a label on it, mark it or something so that you recognize it. This is the right hand side and the other side is the left hand side. Okay, so the uh, it looks like there's a tear in the tube there. That was causing the problem that for it to leak. Yeah, uh, yeah. So there's no there's no puncher. I can't see any puncher. 